Uh, I want to share a short, short testimony um, how God saved Larry, saved him soul from sin, death, and hell. First off, to be saved, it's a royal commandment from God. God says, be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. It's a royal commandment from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Larry saw the Bible verses shared with him that God is holy. The angels cry, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Larry also saw that God hates sin. Psalm 5, 4 says, Thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Something else, God, Larry also saw that God hates us in our sin. Psalm 5, 5, The foolish shall not stand in, the, in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. That's right. God hates hates sin. God hates us in our sin. That's good news. He saw that God truly wanted to save him from sin, death, and hell. Not necessarily physical death, but spiritual death. And the wages of sin, death is, is death. Death and hell, because God hates sin so much. He saw that God wanted Larry to repent, turn from his lifetime of sins, repent and believe the gospel. He also saw that Jesus loved him at the cross. That was the only way to save him, was at the cross. That's the only way that God saves us, at the cross. God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. God didn't come to call the righteous to, to, to repentance. The righteous, they see their own goodness, they think they're okay, they don't need God. But God came to call sinners to repentance. Larry saw that a broken and a contrite heart, God wouldn't support. Now, it wouldn't, uh, God, broken and contrite God, heart, God would not despise. I believe that's in Psalm 51. He heard and understood what Jesus said, actually, a royal commandment again, another royal commandment. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest, rest for your souls. That's Burdening over our sin and laboring over our sin, wallowing in our sin and our mire. And after about 45 minutes of sharing this and some other, other Bible verses, and we, we started, we, we saw Larry start to cry. He started to cry. And then in, a, in an audible, audible, uh, she had some inaudible words we couldn't understand because of the, the Parkinson's. He pointed his finger up and he says, called out, praise Jesus. This is a true story, folks. This was, this, this really happened. God's Holy Spirit came, came upon a broken and a contrite heart, and the Lord Jesus, God's Son, God the Son, saved him from sin, death, and hell. God wants to save all of us. God is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. It means truly turning from your, your sins, your lifetime of sins, and, and, and embracing the Lord Jesus Christ by faith at the cross. And after you're born again, God says it's born again. Uh, and Larry showed evidence of that. I, I talked with him 
a few minutes after when we left. And it confirmed that, that God had truly saved him from sin, death, and hell. So Larry, Larry is with the Lord Jesus right now, worshiping and thanking him forever. And he wants all of us to be there. Larry wants us to be there too. So come to the Lord Jesus Christ, forsaking your sin. Come to him in repentance and embrace the Lord Jesus at the cross. Because that's where God loves us, at the cross. So, be saved, all the ends of the world, all the ends of the earth.